A fun, fun instrument with many cool things. Did I say lose their lives? That's not what I meant. I s what I meant was they'd lose their minds. Their minds. I mean, many people would lose their lives. Not because of the special, but because of, like, you know, other things. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, some people might have a heart attack. I turned on the Jerry Seinfeld special with my wife, Betty. We've been fans of your comedy for 40 years. When you said the F word, her fragile heart exploded. Okay, that's not how you do that. Shame on you. You're just as bad as those, just as bad as those night trap people. Peddling that filth. What do we do with that? You just hold it. You can just hold it. Yahoo! That's not fast enough. <laughs> I'm a really big Jerry fan, but does anyone get the feeling that he's just punching his comedy up with these curses for the views? Oh no. <laughs> it's just, at first I I was I should have been more suspicious because I was like, somebody's admitting to be a to being a Jerry fan? That doesn't happen very often. Usually, like, I'm the guy in the room who always has, like, the best opinion of Jerry Seinfeld. As a comedian, not necessarily as a human being. I'm always like, yeah, stand-up is, like, not that good, but I think he's, like, a funny guy. In a non-stand-up context. Everybody else is like, he hasn't said something funny since 1997. But I never, like, whenever I watch Seinfeld stand-up, I'm never like, that's funny. The best I can do is like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> He's right. Sometimes we say words we don't mean. What's up with that? Shame he doesn't scream about mud pies. I mean, Tim Robinson, as far as I know, has not done a stand-up special, so it's not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. All I'm saying is... Uh, I think you should leave with Tim Robinson. Tim Robinson's baby. The show called Seinfeld. Larry David's baby. It's just a just a kind of a weird observation that I had about a man who loves making observations of his own. That was not even close. If you're gonna give me a clean comedian who tells the same jokes over 30 years, give me Jim Gaffigan instead. I think that's fair. I don't really like um, Jim Gaffigan. I, I mean, I don't know how he is as a person. I don't. His, his comedy doesn't appeal to me that much. But sometimes when I see him on like a late night show, I'm like, seems like a very pleasant individual. Even if his jokes are like, I'm fat. That's a really good impression in a mean spirited way. I can't do that, honey. I'm fat. I'm fat. <laughs> oh, anyway. I did see some good comedy recently, recently though. And by recently, like most 30-year-olds, I mean like within the last year. Mike Birbiglia's The New One, great comedy special. Tom Segura's new comedy special, which ironically I've forgotten the name of, also very funny. Uh, Middle Ditch and Schwartz, the improv show Netflix put out like two weeks ago. Front to back, hilarious. Those those two lads are those two lads are quite sharp. The amount of uh, mental throughput it takes to keep any kind of coherency. Throughout those improv bits, they honestly, I think they deserve a Nobel Prize. 
I did watch all of the Dave Chappelle stuff. Here's, I, I like Dave Chappelle a lot. I think Killing Him Softly, like everybody says, is like one of the best comedy specials of all time. However, I didn't watch the one where he, win, he won the, you know, the Mark Twain Fiction Award or whatever. Or non-fiction award, I suppose. Because, like, my only problem with Dave Chappelle is that I think he's very insightful. However, I do feel like a lot of his new stuff is almost like prestige. He's like, he's not doing it for prestige, but he's making jokes that are not actually that funny. They're rather like, I guess, kind of insightful. And you just sort of believe him and take him at his word because he's Dave Chappelle. I don't know if I did a great job explaining that, but I'm like, I, I feel like I, I can respect it because he's trying to do, he's evolving past just telling jokes and is trying to almost become more of like someone who has their finger on the pulse of the nation or whatever. He's becoming almost like an orator more than a comedian is the vibe I get. But on the other hand, I'm also like, I feel like he was funnier before. But I did like both of the specials. I did. All three specials? He's done three now? I can't remember. But I am not gonna watch... Like, when I saw that there was a Netflix show that was like, watch Dave Chappelle get complimented by other comedians for like three hours, I was like, nah. No thank you. I get it. I like, dude, John Mulaney, hilarious. John Mulaney's, uh, the, the sack lunch bunch. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was very funny and also a bold kind of comedy special. I think Mulaney's great. But dude, like, uh, consider this like a huge recommendation for Middleditch and Schwartz if you haven't, if you haven't seen that yet. Originally, I was like, Two hours of improv, this is gonna be pretty uneven, is actually just very, very good. What about John Delaney? I like, I find his workout videos kind of funny sometimes. Like, what do you want from me there? I just don't know what you want from me there. Like, maybe I have to kick the shell somewhere, like a Guided by Voices song. Do, 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 kicker of shells. Like, you do, you do have to kick the shell. You gotta do two bounces. There's two bounce symbols? There are not two bounce symbols. There are two dotted squares. Now that I know that those are called bounce symbols, then you know. But hither to this point, those were not bounce symbols. There was no legend at the start of the level that's like, just so you know, Keikaku equals plan and dotted square equals bounce. They didn't include a, a rubric with this. Can't get that second. Do we bounce twice and then bounce off the note block? Can't tell. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What did you think they were before? I thought it was just like, hey, press a button here. Which I guess is functionally identical to a bounce symbol. Pontiff is easier than Madeir. Um, I disagree. I will say, with the boss rankings I tweeted last night, you have to keep in mind, that's for my own unique... Huh? Huh? That's for my own unique playstyle. I think if you have a shield, that might change things and Pontiff will be easier than Madeir. Because Madeir is going to punish you for holding your shield up by hitting you with a flame AoE that melts your stamina. But if you're playing with a big hammer, I feel like Pontiff is is harder than Madeir. 
Well, I feel like Pontiff was harder than Medir for me. Well. Can you name your actual human child? XAEA12A. Um, I was having a great time looking at Twitter last night for those memes that were like, you know. XAEA-12A. It's time for your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it's just a picture of like a completely smooth peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Or it'd be like, nobody. Absolutely nobody. XAEA-12 crying in the crib. And it was just like a bit shifted, bass boosted cat going like, and I was like, I have no idea why this is funny. But it's hilarious. I guess it's funny, because the name is strange. Bruh. <laughs> I want to be clear. I'm not making fun of a baby. I am very much making fun of the parents. It brings me no pleasure, Grimes. I thought she was on our side. She's also a Vancouverite who's like, I don't know, almost exactly the same age as me. You screwed it up, Grimes. You screwed it up. How do you do this? This, this last, like, I've never respected Apollo more for saying no to note blocks than I do right now. That time I didn't even touch the note block. Don't touch the note block? You think you just double bounce on this son of a gun right there? Kick the shell and bounce off the turtle at the same time? I gotta go ahead and say it. First part of this level, pretty good. Second part of this level... I feel like this is the second... I don't want to insult you, Mango Man. I feel like this is the second level of yours I've played today where I've been like, eh, not for me. You know, maybe it's like, um... There's gotta be a good example here. Maybe it's like Porcupine Tree. It's like, hey... If you like Slint, you'll love Porcupine Tree. And then I listened to Porcupine Tree and was like, not really. Not really for me, honestly. No disrespect. A lot of people like you a lot. Now Slint, oh. Now we're talking. Now that's a record. Ah, it does it the bounce timing, dude. Have you seen the Spiderland documentary on Netflix or on YouTube? Sorry, uh, no, I have not. Maybe I will though. That that sounds like something that's up my alley. What? 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 Sure. I think this is like, this is, it's on probation. This is like my last attempt. And then I might actually just yeet this level. Yeah, okay, goodbye. See ya in heck. I do not, that level, I do not like it. I do not like it. Insubordinate and churlish. Now we're talking. Koopa shell throw rooms. Now we're talking. I have seen the Super Mario Brothers movie starring Dennis Hopper. Have I done this level? I feel like I've done this level. Let's do it again.
The Super Mario Brothers movie, for longtime fans of the channel, they'll know this story. But it still, like, messes with me psychologically. In the scene where they turn Toad, who is just like a guitar-playing weirdo. He's not weird because he plays the guitar. Like, watch the movie, you'll understand. Um, they... Oh. They turn him into a Goomba, and he's just looking around going like... And I'm like, dude, that's fucked up. They took that dude's person. They took everything about that dude. And just, like, erased it. Like, that's so much more menacing to me than just, like, a bad guy with a gun who's, like, bang. Instead, it's like you turned him into, like, a servant. It's messed up, dude. <laughs> Lights are on, but nobody's home. Yeah, they did give him a harmonica, that's true. Like, that shit still messes with me to this day. I'm like, that's, that's one of the worst ways to go, dude. I don't really know what's going on with those cannons, but that's okay. Look at that. See, this is like my Ooh. this is like my ideal sort of level, because it looks hard, but is actually like insanely easy. You Basically, there's just platforms, and you jump on them. Plus, I mean, who's gonna argue with the Super Mario Odyssey music? Sorry, Super Mario. Galaxy music. That's the one. Excuse me, th there was no checkpoint? This is not the same level, for sure. I've never seen those fish before. I've never seen the parachuting fish. NL, did you see Jeff's new video? Hesitant Hedgehog. Who the hell is Jeff? From the bowling video game? Okay, thank you. I do not follow Jeff's, uh, the current trajectory of his year, or of his career, I should say. I'm, uh, you know, we, we shared a few moments in premium bowling last year. It was a lot of fun, and I, I wish him the best. I certainly don't wish him any ill, but no, I did not see Jeff's new video. Uh, yep, that was bad. He covers songs. Good, good for Jeff. Good for Jeff. I'm ha I'm happy. Are they like Minecraft covers? Or are they like real covers? I'm just asking. Oh, I didn't know it was illegal to just ask in today's society or whatever. What are people mad about right now? Brett. Not being able to go outside? Oh yeah, that's true. That's that's a big one. I've heard I've heard people are upset about that. Elon's kid? I don't know if anybody's upset. I think people are just like, you know, at first I think people were like, it's a joke. And then when Grimes tweeted about it, I was like, I don't think it's a joke. Because that lady just gave birth today. Or like yesterday. And like, I don't think that mothers of newborns have much of a sense of humor. I don't think like their first day, like right after they get back from the hospital, they're like, ah, let's troll some people on Twitter. <laughs> I don't think it's a joke. I think it just does it. It's like the OJ thing. It's like that's not something that people who gave birth within the last like 24 hours do, in my opinion. It's definitely a joke because it's illegal to have symbols in your name in California. Wow, good one. You got the whole squad laughing. You should put that in Jerry's new... Jerry's new special. Oh. 
send it. Why'd you bring up OJ? Because we were talking about it yesterday. And I was like, you know, I know OJ was acquitted, but at the same time, it just doesn't seem to me like writing a book about how you would have murdered your wife if you did it is a thing that innocent people do. I'm sorry if that offends you or is problematic, but for the most part, I feel like if your wife got murdered and you were acquitted and, you know, you didn't murder her, you would probably be like, I'm ready to move on from this incredibly traumatic point in my life. You wouldn't be like, you know what I'm going to do? Write a book about like, well, I didn't do it, but if I did, this is how that shit would have gone down. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't pass the smell test. Oh, that was close. I did not murder her. Why did he make the jump slightly too hard? You might be onto something here. I'm just saying. I don't know if anybody's really thought about the possibility that OJ Simpson might have done that shit. I don't know if I'm if I'm the first person to think about it. Stop, you're gonna get in trouble. He's what is he gonna do? Sue me? Isn't he in jail right now? They like kidnapped some people like ten years ago? Look. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. No oh, no, that's right, he's on Twitter. I forgot. He's he's always on Twitter posting like videos from golf carts and everyone goes, Thank you, Juice. It's a weird world we live in. I tried to explain to Kate yesterday who O.J. Simpson was. <laughs> Remember that when we were doing the bid during the Dark Souls stuff? And I was like, you're not gonna believe this shit. Imagine if, like, an athlete, not quite on the level of Michael Jordan, but, like, pretty close. Closer to Michael Jordan than the average person was implicated in the murder of their own spouse. Yeah, he's a tier below, but like that's still the A tier. The man is a Heisman Trophy. Yeah, you know how like TJ Miller called in that bomb threat? Imagine if TJ Miller was Tom Cruise. It was kind of like at that level. You would be like, why the hell is Tom Cruise calling in a bomb threat? Seems like it's just a decent way to fuck up his already, like, pretty okay life, by his standards, at least. You're like, yeah, it doesn't make any damn sense. Anyway, this is, like, literally a joke. Or a, a bit that should be left in, like, 1995. <laughs> you guys hear about the OJ trial? You hear about this Lorena Bobbitt case? That's where she cut off her husband's penis because he was abusive. And then they found it in a field that reattached it, and then... Uh, he went on to become an adult film star. Also, I believe that the man's name was John Wayne. His name was John Wayne Bobbitt, which is just perfect. Then he effed your mom. Yeah, exactly. Then he effed, he went on later to be famous for effing your mom. You guys, you guys hear about this Watergate shit? <laughs> this is now Jerry. <laughs> Jerry making a joke about Watergate in 2020. But he's saying the F word. Don't get me fucking started on Watergate, guys. I mean... <laughs> 
We had waterfalls, but water gates? This is fucking ridiculous. I, I love... I'm trying... We're still feeling this bit out, alright? It didn't come out fully formed. I'm still feeling the bit out. Whether I want him to have Andrew Dice Clay's accent, or whether I want him to have Jerry's accent, but just say the F word. It's fucking ridiculous. What the, I would love... You know how, like, Alec Baldwin had that voicemail leaked where he yells at his daughter? I would love to hear Jerry Seinfeld's angry voicemails. What the fuck are you doing, you fucking idiot? <laughs> It would be, it would be, it would be, I don't even know, it would be so foreign. What's the deal with you? I'm gonna come over there, I'm gonna beat your ass! Oh man, that would be... That's, angry Jerry Seinfeld is just, cause he's, he lives, oh, his whole life has lived in a, uh, a world of just kind of being dismissive and angry with a an air of superiority. Like he's above all this shit, like Jerry can't be bothered to deal with your problems. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. If you think that's hard, you should try working for a living. To hear him actually be upset. I think, I, I don't think I could die happy until I have it happen. I, it's simple. I gotta hear Jerry Seinfeld say, It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I gotta know. I gotta know. I gotta know, A, what it sounds like, and B, how it makes me feel when I hear it. I do, I love the Kesha video where he refuses that hug. I think he's perfect, like, within his rights to refuse the hug. And I think... I think the way he handled it is extremely great and hilarious. There we go. Don't even utter the words Jerry Seinfeld sex tape. I don't want to know. We, we've willed a lot of things into existence on this show. I really don't want to will that into existence. Oh, now the music's sending me, brother. That is good stuff. <laughs> I don't know why in my head I'm just picturing like, if you keep doing that, you're gonna make me come. That's, that's the only line that's in my... But he says it with such a casual, just kind of like throws it out there. You know, if you keep doing that, you're gonna make me come. That's that's all I got. That's all I got for that the Jerry Seinfeld sex tape bit. Of course we gotta try to frame perfect this one. It's a pretty easy level. Anyway, I'll probably watch that Jerry Seinfeld special at some point. <laughs> Why not? I hate myself. Also, maybe it's good. Okay, get me out of here. No, we're gonna do 90-90. Half an hour more of Mario Maker. Easy troll level, you will not break your controller, I swear. And then... Landlord Super after that. Wait, that wasn't there. Uh-uh. I think I know what I have to do. I think I know what I have to do. I think it's like this. <laughs> I, I honestly do think I know what I have to do, believe it or not. No. <laughs> Press plus and navigate to the boo button. I mean, it says troll level. I can't be that upset. Like, something's going on here. Let's be real. Something's going on right here. And maybe something's going on with that thwomp, too.
<laughs> Send it, dude. Oh! What? We, we... All right. You know... It's not for me. It's not for me. The green bean back and forth. The beans rise, the beans fall. Mario's bean jumping through it all. You mad? <laughs> My god, he's got me. I am mad. Oh, you gotta do loops. You gotta do loops. You gotta do loops? Alright. Alright. That's kind of interesting. I haven't seen any of this before. So it's, it's a new idea. You know what I'm gonna say. That is new tech. Whoop! See ya in heck. Never mind. I'm back. You can take your time on this. The only way you lose is by going too fast. Or by hitting your head on that thing. That would have been pretty nasty. Okay, so you know we're going ya, yeah, ya, yeah, and then super ya. Yeah. You gotta hit the switch. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, I get it. It's not that many steps. It's not that many steps. It just feels like a lot of steps at first. Oh, that's bad. Do you even need... Hold on, I, I feel like I've got some cheese for this. If this... If this works, I'm gonna go down in history as a true legend. Looks like this. Nope. It does work. I was like, if you... What if you get the POW block? Hold on. Brett. All right, maybe we'll just do it the normal way. You know what? I've decided. You always got to take a chance on new tech. Ah! I did it. Oh, uh, there's no caterpillar there. Requesting thought process. I thought you could just get a respawning. Use the fact that the POW block respawns. To not have to do the loop and just yeet two POW blocks instead. Whoops. <laughs> you send, send, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, send, grab, shoot. Ah, see, it's very simple. It's a, it's a very simple process. Then you reset and you go again. You go, ya. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta... Okay, you, you had it. You just kind of needed to go to the right, honestly. You just kind of had to go to the right on that one. I definitely think it's cheesable. You might have to do a, a, a POW drop so you can jump off of it. Which is like... More trouble than it's worth. I'm not dead. You're dead. I'm dead. I mean, this should be easy, let's be honest. Like, compared to some of the Apollo levels, just giving you the opportunity to make, like, easy jumps is so foreign to us right now. I'm not used to having a platform to stand on. By the way, I'm the funeral director, and you're dead. <laughs> if you're bad... I'm... you're dead. And I'm Shelmet. And Zendaya is Michi. Hi, Dad. I'm XAEA12. You know... Hmm. 
it's just, uh... How did we get here? That's, that's all I'm asking. All I'm asking is how did we get here? How did we get to the point? Where you, you know, you give your kid a name like that. The kid is named like a, a digital synthesizer. As a white person, white people. <laughs> it's true, right? Like, the joke on the internet for a long time had been like, I swear my sister's a teacher, and there's a kid in her class whose name was L-A-A, -A, and I went, La-A, and they went, It's La-Dasha. Now the joke is, uh, yeah, hi, my parents uh, named me X-A-E-A-12. After their second favorite airplane. This is what threw me. In Grimes' explanation, she doesn't even go, it was named after our favorite airplane. They're like, it is named after the precursor to our favorite airplane, the SR-71. Come on. Maybe it is a joke. But it's one of the... <laughs> I didn't even try. It's one of those jokes where I'm like... It's not funny. Like, the joke is you're dumb and everyone believed it. The joke's on you. Even if you're the one making the joke. You, you just... It's a self-made joke. Like, if I said some dumb shit and you were like... That's in character for this guy. And then I was like, jokes on you guys. That dumb shit I said. I didn't believe it. I was just pretending to be dumb. You'd be like, well, the joke's on you. Huh. This should not be this hard. Like, I'm embarrassed by my performance. Like this? Oh, oh, come on. Like, if you don't want to give out the kid's name, why not just, like, not reply to the tweet? Instead of being like, oh, yeah, he's named uh, Tofurky after my second favorite Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know. If anything, it actually makes me excited to be a parent, because apparently it's not that hard. The day after they had the kid, they're making jokes on Twitter. Seems like, you know, business as usual. Oh, the kid's with the au pair right now. This is mommy and daddy's Twitter time. Please! He has six kids? I'm not gonna hate on a man for his kids. But that is a lot. See ya. <laughs> oh no, oh no. And of course, this is the one. That's actually way harder than it looks. I'm just, that's all I'm going to say. Landing that jump with the right speed is way harder than it looks. I said it was easy. That's because it looks easy and I was embarrassed. But in actuality, it's it's harder than Malf's, like, uh, saw jump. It just looks easier, which is, in its own way, more devilish. You're okay. Look at that. I told you you're okay. There you go. You killed your momentum in the air. Very wise. Very astute. I like this loop concept, though. I think this loop concept... I think that's got some good stuff going for it. 
Okay, what are we doing? One of these. One of these. At some point, we're going to do something with this pal block. Lord knows. I got no idea what it is. Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> That's a long trip, brother. Oh, I knew it. That's a long trip. That's all right. I actually think... Now that we've learned the necessary steps, we're gonna do this a little bit faster. I mean, this part, like, it's just like walking at this point in my life. Bouncing on these platforms is is the exact same as just taking a stroll down the sidewalk. The only hard part is getting it all done on the same attempt. Just the same as og walking. Hey, that og walking uh, clip, it did pretty well on TikTok. It didn't go super viral, but you know, last time I checked, it was over 20,000 views. By my TikTok standards, that's like mini viral. How did nothing personnel do? That's, that's the one. That's the one. What occurs in the clip? Tony goes, or uh, Dana Plato comes out and pulls a gun and goes, Don't make me use this, Tony. And then Tony teleports behind her like nothing personnel kid. And goes, Did you really think this toy could harm me? He does go, You! I like that. I like that. He does go that. He does go that. Uh-oh. Okay, you're good. Still good. No problem. No problem. I like this level. It's a good level. Just an absolutely classic clip. I actually prefer, though... I mean, it's a good clip, but I really prefer the clip where he goes, You remind me of someone I loved long ago, but that can never be. <laughs> 